WTPA, let's game. Good day, you bloody larrikins. This is the top 20 tips we found useful in sunken land. Tip number one. The first thing you should be doing is getting some bloody fins. These little beauties will have you moving around the water like Aquaman and will make looting underwater way more efficient. At the moment, you can stack the late game fins as well on top of your basic fins for even more speed. Tip number two. If you're sick of constantly looking at your map trying to get back home, chuck one of these bad boys down and even change the color if you have multiple spots you want marked. Tip number three. All boats have the same storage except for the jet ski and the gyrocopter. The jet ski has none. The gyrocopter has 15 more slots than anything else. This brings it to the same storage as the military backpack. Tip number four. The trader has a fast swimming motor. It's more of a mid-game item for when you're able to charge batteries. It's not like you can slip down to Bunnings for a 10-pack of double A's and charge it up. So it's better to have the charger and generated research before you buy it. Tip number five. When you die on a random island, use random respawn to spawn close to where you were. Tip number six. Sell your excess charcoal to the trader. You're going to end up with a shit ton because anything that uses wood as fuel, you're going to have charcoal as the byproduct. And it won't take long before it's taken up more space in Call of Duty. Save up and give it to old love for some items. 13 charcoal is usually $10, where for instance you can buy an underwater scooter for 153 charcoal. Tip number seven. All resource items like trees, food, iron and copper all respawn after a certain amount of time. So if you're after a specific resource but you've mined it all, come back after a while and check. A great indicator to see if the trees are back on the island you've just looted. Tip number 8. The bolt action rifle does the most damage and cost effective gun in my opinion. Other guns like SMGs absolutely mow through ammo more than you mow through a on a hungover Sunday, which can get super expensive on resources, especially rare items at the start like chemical substrate that you need for gunpowder. This paired with a shotgun or a pistol can make it super easy to clear out enemy bases. Tip number nine. When starting out, do not build your base out of the wood that's on the starting island. Save it for cooking and water. There are plenty of cars and other items just offshore, which you can get tons of scrap metal, and trust me, you'll have more scrap than you know what to do with very, very soon. Tip number 10. Research and build a fishnet. The most passive way we've found to get food in the game is just to set and forget and you'll end up with four different types of fish that you can grill up on the barbecue or on the stove for better meals. Tip number 11. Once you've set up those nets for some fish, you can make a meal on the stove called a fish stew. Research an empty bottle and fill from your water source. Then go to the stove and with the two fish indicated, you make one of the most helpful foods in the game with the best buffs. You'll be able to dive for longer and swim faster when exploring the depths of the ocean. Plus this quenches both your thirst and hunger. This stack with two sets of fins will make you swim faster than Ian thought. Tip number 12. Look out for red toolboxes. These little buggers have advanced parts. You'll need these to unlock the level four research in the bench and advanced items like the steel furnace and the gyrocopter. Tip number 13. You can shoot sharks and marlin while floating on the water. You can use guns and crossbows to get rid of those pesky sharks before you dive down into the deep. This is also useful for your first backpack which you will need shark and marlin hide to make. Tip number 14. Red algae is your friend. These little underwater plants can be a lifesaver when you're exploring. Three of these make a medical brew that heals you for a certain amount over time. Tip number 15. On single player while raiding NPC bases, keep checking the map if the icon color turns from red to white. This will indicate that you've cleared out all the enemies from the area, so they don't get pumped in the face like this guy. Oh, oh. A person in the tree! <laughs> the tree killed me! On multiplayer, you know you've dealt with everybody because you can put a flag down on the island. Tip number 16. You can find leather from leather couches. These are one of the materials you'll need to make the military backpack which has the highest carry weight of all backpacks. Tip number 17. When approaching enemy islands and bases, try to pick off as many NPCs while you're still driving your boat. The boat is a great deterrent from enemies shooting you directly and they hit the boat instead. Just remember higher level enemies with enough firepower will destroy your boat. Then you'll be stranded like Tom Hanks in Castaway. You can repair all vehicles with your repair hammer, so make sure to have a fully heal before going into battle. Tip number 18. Build on the water. Building on the water is a great way to easily defend from NPC raids, especially when you're playing on your own. Having a moat around your base wider than the main structure as well makes it easy to pick off those little buggers trying to get in. Tip number 19. When raiding underwater areas, build a metal platform near it to land your gyrocopter. This makes it so much more efficient because sometimes you only have to do one trip. 
Tip number 20. The headlight is a great way to loot underwater. When you're getting deep with the deep and the dark depths of the deep, it can be really handy if you don't miss any of them hidden goods. That's top 20 tips for sunken land. If you have some great tips yourself and you think we've missed some, please leave them in the comments. Until next time, stay safe, grab a pint, and keep on diving. Like, comment, and subscribe for more epic WTPA moments.